All right, let's bring in Mark Spears from ESPN and the Undefeated. Uh, we're uh, very fortunate to have him join us right now. Mark, uh, thank you so much for joining us. What has surprised you so far today? Andre Drummond to Cleveland? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. I still can't figure out how it makes any sense. Maybe you can? No. No, I mean, <laughs> I guess it's okay. uh salary cap thing. I mean, does, does he even show up? I mean, I... I know he's sitting there really confused right now. Like, what the heck is going on? Um, now, I live in the Bay Area, and uh, there's a lot of people that are really intrigued and uh, about your Canadian, uh, Andrew Wiggins, coming out to the Bay Area, playing small forward for the Warriors. I think it's going to be a blessing in disguise for him. But that, that was a surprise. But I got to say, Drummond is very confusing. Well, there's a belief, and let's go to the Wiggins one because that one makes a little bit more basketball sense. There's a belief that if Wiggins can't figure it out in Golden State, maybe it's time to stop hoping he does. Is that fair to say, or is it still a little too early given the history he's had in Minnesota and that culture there? I, you know what? It's the last part you said. It's the culture. Mm -hmm. um, who have they had really to mentor him to get him there? I guess what, he played with Garnett maybe for a little bit, um, but – with Draymond Green, with Steph, with Clay, with with the championship culture, this is probably going to be the best thing that's ever happened to his career. I think he'll flourish there. The pressure isn't there. He doesn't have to lead him in scoring. He doesn't even have to be the second guy to lead him in scoring. <laughs> he doesn't have to be Kevin Durant. I think he has to be Harrison Barnes, if that makes sense. If he could be a solid 18-point-per-game scorer, which I know he could be 16 to 18 defend, rebound, maybe play some point forward. When this team gets healthy, he perhaps could be that piece that gets him back to uh, championship contention. But, as I said, it's not on him. It's on him to help this group, mm -hmm. not lead this group. Now, Mark, going the other way is D'Angelo Russell, who could probably utilize some stability in his career as well. Is that got, It's got to be a good thing for Carl Anthony Towns, I'd imagine, to see him coming in to a team that could use kind of, you know, a better uh, situation and scenario. Oh, he's got to be ecstatic. Both of them are good friends. Um, he hasn't won since, like, Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, <laughs> We're talking a yeah, while. I mean, Eddie, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot has happened since then. Um, so I think for, for Minnesota, they probably needed to bring in somebody just to make Cat happy, make him feel like they're going in the right direction. Uh, and you're bringing his boy. So, you know, in today's day and age in the NBA, you know, having your buddy next to you is, is, is very, very important. Does that make Minnesota a playoff team? No, uh, they, they need a lot more. Uh, but now at least they got two young guys who I think are both under 25 that they could build on for the future. With regards to the Raptors, there's a belief that there isn't going to be a move, move made. And some question, why would you even need to make a move? The team is uh, second in the East right now, third best record in the NBA, despite losing Kawhi Leonard, despite all the man games lost to injury. Do you think there's a move they need to make to help solidify things? Or do you think this roster is still good enough to compete with the very best in the NBA right now? Keep Masai. That's the move <laughs> they need to make. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Masai, get a deal yeah. done. Uh, even with the Knicks having made their decision, give Masai a new deal. Pay him. Make it so, you know, the thought of him leaving doesn't happen. Take care of him. He turned his franchise around. He got him a championship. He put this team still in championship contention without Kawhi Leonard. Take care of him, man. Let, let, let's make it where, like, any talking to him doesn't exist anymore because financially he's taken care of for a long time. So that's, to me, the thing that they need to take care of because if you take care of him, I think he'll keep continuing to make this place uh, really special. Do you think, Mark, with this group, if they don't make any moves, that this is still a championship contender? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought that from the beginning. Maybe I was one of the few. I was there. Uh, doing something on Pascal in the preseason. I just think they got the right veterans, the right uh, group of youth, uh, the right guys with the chip on their shoulder. Uh, Pascal learned how to be a star from Kawhi and just filled into his role. I definitely like them. You got to show up to, to fight them. Um, you know, beating them in a seven-game series will not be easy. Uh, they, they have a grit and grind about them. 
that is uh, unique, and uh, they'll be a tough out. So, yeah, do I, I'm not saying they're going to win it again, but it's not out of the realm of possibility that I'll see y'all back in in uh, Toronto in June, and I, I need some more um, Soho time, you know, when the weather's better. Uh, it's beautiful uh, here know, in the I summer, got, Mark, as you know. I da- got my Danielle has Jamaican all the hookups here, too. So if you come, you got to let us know. She can get you in anywhere, <laughs> yeah. anywhere. I got to go to Chubby's. I get to go to Chubby's, you know. I got all my spots, spots there, you know. Yeah.